I asked, and Nikki French told. December 5th through the 31st, you're going to be starring as the Wicked Queen in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in Newark, yes. England. So what made you want to be part of this show? Um, well, I've, I've been doing pantomime roles uh, for a few years now, um, but this is the first wicked role that I've been given. Um, usually I'm the fairy godmother or the mother of Sleeping Beauty or whatever. And um, the opportunity to play um, the baddie, if you like, mm -hmm. is, is too, too good a chance to let up, really. Mm -hmm. And what do you identify, if anything, with the Wicked Queen? <laughs> um, I don't actually know. I'm hoping that I don't identify with her at all. <laughs> I hope people will say, oh, that's great acting, Nikki. But uh, I don't know, some people might think it's typecasting. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you hope audiences come away with after seeing the show? Oh, I mean, pantomime is just one of those things that... that you just go there to just let yourself go and go into a little bit of unreal life for a little while, for a couple of hours. Um, I, I just hope that they leave enjoying it. I mean, the, the the thing I love is actually entertaining the little kids, the ones mm. that you can see in the audience who are just believing absolutely everything they're seeing on that stage. That, that to me, is, is the magic of pen to mine um and it doesn't sound very wicked to say it but it, it's true i just i love seeing their little faces when they're just totally transfixed by what's going on mm. um and also i enjoy sort of the older sort of audiences when they they get the the double entendres and uh <laughs> you know you can you can have a bit of a laugh with those so that's that's fun as well what's your favorite part of the rehearsal process or preview period in a show um, there are a few, actually. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoy the rehearsal section because you you see everybody coming together. You see the whole thing sort of coming together. Um, it's, it's interesting to see how people sort of interpret their roles as well. Mm. Um, but that's the same with any show, mm -hmm. really. I mean, I just, I love doing theatre now and, and that's part of it. <laughs> Um, but that opening show is always sort of very nerve-wracking because you don't know if they're going to like what you do or where the where the applause is going to come or where the um, the laughter's going to come. You're never quite sure if they're going to laugh or not. But it's it's I don't know. I love I love all of it. I love the last night. I love the first night. Mm. The Christmas Eve show is always great fun because everybody's very excited about Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get a day off, so that's always good. <laughs> and what made you want to um, transition into musical theatre or, or, or get into it? Well, I'd always actually loved doing musical theatre. Mm. In fact, um, when I was when I was younger, I actually went to university, well, to college to, um, to study musical theatre and drama and um, my, my original ambition was to work in theatre and, and be a musical theatre performer Rodgers and Hammerstein are my heroes mm. um, and then I sort of sort of got to this I don't know life junction and uh, took the route with pop music and I've never regretted it mm. I've loved every second of it but there was a moment some years ago where I just thought you know People aren't going to want to watch me when I'm 20 years older, just sort of stomping around the stage. You know, there's <laughs> other youngsters coming up behind me and mm -hmm. they'll take over. So I need something with more longevity. And mm. it, it sort of made sense to try the theatre route again because I'd always loved theatre mm -hmm. and I'd always wanted to do theatre stuff. And mm. I've been very lucky in the last few years that I've actually picked up quite a few good roles Yes, I saw also, actually, I saw on your website, you also did a tribute to Ethel, uh, Ethel Merman. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh, what the was that like? Show, effectively, it was, it was amazing, and it was, it was great fun. And the writer is, well, we're all convinced it's, it's definitely got, got legs, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to hopefully taking that further. Do you have any plans to try and come to Broadway? 
oh my goodness, that would just be an absolute dream come true. Mm -hmm. But um, no plans at the moment, okay. no. I think okay. I'm going to get through Panto first. What do you get from doing musical theatre that you don't get from recording music? I guess the variety. Uh, you know, in, in musical theatre, you have the chance to play an actual role you know if you i mean i mean particularly with the ethel show i wasn't singing as nikki french i was i was trying to interpret the way ethel merman used to sing mm -hmm. and hopefully people got that mm -hmm. um whereas when i'm singing as nikki french that's me you right. know and, and and you can't hide behind the role of that you know you are who you are mm -hmm. um i get something out of both ways you know either doing my own gigs or the musical theatre, I get different things from them. Um, but with musical theatre, I guess, you know, you get the chance to wear different costumes and change and, you know, all that stuff. That's part one of my interview with Nikki French. Click below to watch part two. Thanks for watching. For more Call Me Adam, visit callmeadam.com or follow me on Twitter at callmeadamnyc or facebook.com slash callmeadamnyc.